Okay, first things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of a luminous 4K screen paint using Ambient Light Rejection, Technology Gain, Time 2, 3, and 5. We're going to do a demonstration using black blackout cloth next to our superior screen paint. Now, keep in mind, both of these screens are black. We're going to show you that there is no substitute when it comes to our technology. Any black screen, as I said before, can produce black contrast. It is very hard for a black screen to produce white levels. And white levels are very important because that makes a difference between your colors and your white levels and everything else becoming muddy and dirty. Now, this is a demonstration, trust me, that you will not see a lot of people try to follow behind because, like I said, any black screen can do, can do contrast. But when it comes to white levels, that's where you're going to have a problem. So, first things first, I'm going to show off our projector right here using a BenQ projector 3000 lumen. 720p WXGA. We are around somewhere between eight feet back from the screen. Now, first things first, I have a demonstration playing right now. It is an all black demonstration. I'll pause it for a minute so you can see that it is on and it is a 10 hour black screen demonstration. So, we'll trick it up, pause. You'll see it disappear. And that's to show you that, like I said, any black screen, even black alcohol, even black paint, is going to be to produce a um, a um, a black level. Now let's put it on an all straight, all white screensaver. With the video <laughs> just popped up in the middle of it. There you go. So you can see the difference between the two. The video just popped right in the middle. It doesn't make a difference. It just shows you exactly what you're getting. So. Bottom line, this is what you, this is the white level. This is what the white level should be. This is what you get. That's why I said white levels are going to suffer horribly. Now let's go over here and let's get a pretty snowstorm. If my snowstorm just kicked in, it took a while for that one to kick in. All right, let's we'll zoom in up close so you can see what you're getting. Now, yeah, some people, that's the reason why we do this, because keep in mind, in, in the demonstration, when you're applying a superior, we always tell you to paint the surface black, prime it black first, and then coat it over with our technology. This is what happens when you don't have our, coated, our coating on a black screen, or anything that's black, or you don't prime it first. That's the dirty image you're going to pick up. This image over here is the image you're going to pick up from our technology once it's coated on any form of black surface, or any form of surface that actually you prime that is black. All right. See the difference between the two? All right. Now, I'm going to come over here and we're going to grab a TLC demonstration. Oh, that demonstration right there, that's coming in part two. That's a very, very, very interesting demonstration we're going to talk about. That is going to be very important. I want you to look at that demonstration. We're going to show you something in that demonstration. Now look at the white levels, look at the black levels. Now as the black level starts, the white level starts to, um, the, um, right here, the black alcohol starts to peek over, you'll see it become dark. Just show you how dirty the image is going to come up when anything is not coated with that superior technology. You're not going to see a lot of people doing side by side next to black screens on white levels. They're going to do uh, contrast only. But like I said, any black screen is going to produce contrast. The problem is, is having a screen to produce white levels. White levels, like I said, are important. Now you see how dirty it looks here? How white it looks here? Look how dirty the skin tones are. Now, if the skin tones are this dirty, that means natural color, all that becomes dirty, becomes dingy. Now, we'll come back here, we're going to put on a white snowstorm.
oversaturation of contrast. This is what I call it. When a screen is producing so much contrast, and this is 3000 lumens, when it's producing so much contrast that white levels become dirty. to that snowstorm. Now as you see the camera starts to adjust because the screen produces a very high white level. You'll see what's what. And that's what you're actually getting. That's how dirty your image is going to become. Alright, let me go over here. And pause this really quick. Yes, so I know you looked at this, you're probably thinking what this is, because a lot of people think, oh, is that what he makes his screen paint up? No, 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 you're far from it. This is a cheap mix screen paint, which I made. It's a multi-purpose um, primer mixed with black paint. And I want to say something really quick before we start, start part two on this demonstration, because there's two of them on this demonstration. As I said, but the reason why we do insane demonstrations like matching our black screens with another black screen or doing demonstrations like taking our screens and taking them out in the, in the uh, daytime hours or basically baking screens. <laughs> I actually cooked a screen one time. Um, doing all these crazy demonstrations, extreme ambient light, all this stuff that we do is to separate our technology from anything out there on the market. That was basically the whole purpose of this demonstration to show you that even if you just paint the screen black, even if you just get black blackout flow, you will not have the same technology or the same ability of what our screen paints can do. And this is what separates us. Now with this right here, as I said before, majority of there's no science behind any of this some of these screen paints out here on the market they're basically just either black or white paint you've seen somebody mix that and show you or basically it's just a gray and black that's pretty much what it is because if it was anything different the demonstrations would be different they were doing the same exact demonstrations that we do and this was a high ambient light rejection form of screen paint you could take it outside and it could do the exact same thing now i'm going to make my own black screen paint using cheap paint I'm gonna put it next to the superior to show you exactly what we're gonna get and trust me the outcome's not gonna be pretty so we're gonna darken this up a bit and we're gonna basically put this right against the screen actually I'm gonna do the opposite side of this now like I said there's nothing there's nothing showing any difference now keep in mind I want to explain something to you I always tell people be careful before you jump look before you leap in one of my demonstrations we flashed the label we never said in the demonstration what it was or anything. We never even showed me us pouring it out of the can and putting it on the surface. We just flashed the label. I said two mixes. This is a mix. Anytime you put a black and you put any paint together, it becomes a mix. That's it. So with that being said, we mix this and this together. We got this right here and I can take out the lights and it will react the same way. Now if I took this paint and I put it on a high power projector, I put it in an ambient light uh, controlled environment where not too much light was hitting the screen, it's gonna look fantastic. If I stick this thing out in our environment, it's going to fail miserably. If I do it against contrast against a black screen, it's going to fail miserably. If I take it outside, it's gonna fail miserably. There's no science behind it. And as I said also too, when it comes to these screens, they will fade quickly because these screens cannot produce contrast. But we're gonna do a black one also. And we're gonna do it on white levels, all right? Because it's gonna produce contrast, it's black. Like I said, it's gonna produce contrast, it's black. The white levels, it's not gonna come up. And that's very important. So keep in mind, instead of paying money for this, you can go out, if you're gonna go cheap, if you don't care what your screen's going to look like, you don't care at all, then you know what? You might as make it for yourself. 30 bucks or $23 to get a gallon out of it. And that's going to be the next demonstration. We're going to put this up against, and we're going to make a black version. We're going to put this up against the Superior and show you what you're going to get. All right. Thank you all for your time. I got to go, and God bless.